Welcome. Welcome to Vanadium. This is Chris Rankin. The more I learn about this mad world, the more mysterious it seems. At the end of last year, the most advanced scientific instrument finished its decades-long journey from concept to build, to launch, to dangerous trip through space, to get into final position to collect its first images of the cosmos. The James Webb Space Telescope is one of, if not the biggest, most promising, and also most difficult and daring science experiments ever undertaken, and the machine just booted up and came online a few months ago, Christmas of 2021. The James Webb mission has been in the making since 1996, relying on the effort of thousands of people from more than 17 countries. It's required nearly 100 million hours of people's lives in order to design and build. The James Webb, or J-West, is not only the largest, most complex, and powerful space telescope ever constructed, it's a Rocky Balboa story of setbacks, delays, and financial troubles. The telescope's construction was nearly scrapped after the financial crisis in 2008. Just a few weeks before launch, there was a mishap where sensitive sensors and equipment were nearly destroyed. But the James Webb just kept moving forward. From its birthplace in Redondo Beach, California, to French Guiana near the equator for the launch, the spin of the Earth gives the rocket a little extra push. This miracle machine has come a long way. People often describe it as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, but this powerhouse is far more than just Hubble 2.0. If you want to find out more about the design and capabilities of the James Webb, check out my previous episode, Countdown. Just in the few months since J. West has been in operation, it's already revealed striking, just beautiful images of deep space. The images I'll be showing are hot off the presses. Just days ago, on September 27, 2022, J. West showed us the bones of an old spiral galaxy, IC5332. The incredible detail of this image comes through MIRI, Webb's mid-infrared instrument. The tiny threads are gases swirling through the mass. Usually dust obscures these lines of gas, but the mid-infrared probe sees right through the dusty particles. This galaxy is almost 300 million light years away, and it's about 66,000 light years across, making it considerably larger than our own Milky Way. Imaging in the mid-infrared is only possible because J. West's mid-infrared detector is cooled to almost absolute zero. This prevents the heat, the infrared radiation of the instrument itself from interfering with its measurements. This machine has been busy. Just a week or so before that, on September 21st, J. West showed us the familiar planet Neptune in incredible new light. It turns out that Neptune has faint rings. Astronomers only caught a slight glimpse of these things during the Voyager 2 spacecraft flyby in 1989. But Webb's near-infrared camera gave us a view of the ice giant and its rings like we never imagined. Neptune is 30 times farther from the Sun than the Earth. It's so dim that if you were to land there in the middle of the day, you'd think it was actually the middle of the night. At the end of August, the J. West Telescope took us to the center of the galaxy M74, also known as the Phantom Galaxy. The images show a dense star cluster at the core. Astronomers have called the Phantom Galaxy a perfect spiral because of its high degree of symmetry. Webb isn't finished looking at M74, and there are plans to probe the system at longer wavelengths in order to pinpoint where the stars are born and to determine the age of the cluster. My favorite planet, other than Earth, Jupiter, is a world of next-level extremes. With planet-sized storms, super-fast winds, and unimaginably cold temperatures. Earlier this August, the James Webb captured amazing details of the solar system's largest and grandest planet. The Great Red Spot, one of Jupiter's signature features, is actually a monster storm larger than the Earth itself. It appears white in many of the telescope's images because the storm clouds reflect a lot of sunlight. You can also see auroras climbing above the northern and southern poles. 
The largest and most detailed image from Jay West so far came in July, showing Stefan's quintet, a group of five clustered galaxies. This mosaic picture contains over 150 million pixels and put together using a thousand separate image files. With its powerful infrared vision and high spatial resolution, Webb shows us the previously hidden details of this mysterious group. Twinkling clusters of millions of baby stars and star birth itself is revealed in these images. Sweeping trails of stars and dust are being sucked in by strong gravity. There are huge shock waves as one of the galaxies, NGC 7318b, smashes through the quintet. This next image is one of my favorites. It looks like mountains in the moonlight, but it's actually the edge of a star birthing region in the Carina Nebula, almost 8,000 light years away. Referred to as the Cosmic Cliffs, this region is actually the edge of an enormous gaseous cavity within the nebula. The cavernous region has been carved out by intense ultraviolet light and stellar winds from massive young stars in the center. The high energy radiation from these stars is grinding away and sculpting the nebula's wall slowly over time and giving it its shape. The James Webb, with its amazing resolution and unparalleled sensitivity, has also unveiled hundreds of formerly hidden stars and even new unknown galaxies. What's crazy is this machine has only been turned on for a few months and it's already blowing our minds. I can't wait for the next update. Thank you very much. This was Chris Rankin with Vanadium.